welcome back students this is your chendu i am going to work out uh, the important questions for the course engineering chemistry for r22 regulation under j to h dear students as per the r22 regulation the qp pattern is bet differ and the marking for the external examination 60 and you are eligible to take the external exam if and only if if you are going to score 14 marks in the average of mid 1 and mid 2 a video is posted in my channel please go through it and watch for marking of r22 regulation in this video i am going to highlight few important questions for the course engineering chemistry for all branches of engineering under j and u h the first unit i have taken into consideration is unit 5 because you are taking mid 2 you are supposed to concentrate on all the part which i am going to highlight in staff lubricants in their classifications with an example is said to be a topmost question dear students the properties and mechanism of lubricants and the characteristics of good lubricants may be also one of the highlighted question in your end examination thin versus thick versus extreme pressure lubrications their differences thermo response materials and the shape memory material Related to polyalactic acid is also said to be a topmost question. Dear students, as per the part A, you are going to get questions from Y. The first question that is from one A to J, and they all are short questions on which carries one mark. And from each unit, you are going to get two questions which are of two marks. And the part B is off from two to six, which are of long questions. And each question carries ten marks. A total of sixty marks for the external examination. So I can expect two A as well as two B from this, or you will be getting flash on five point, or the define the term viscosity may be the short question, and cloud and core point may be also a short question. Setting versus hardening, and poly acrylic versus poly vinyl and amides is said to be a short or the long question this time for a five mark smart material and its applications, and Portland cement and along with its Components composition is said to be a gun shot and the top question, dear students, dear students, do not expect direct two A and B. Uh, I mean two ten uh, mark question. It means a combination of five and five split. Or you may be getting C or D. A B may be from this and C D may be from this. You are supposed to write either A B or C D. Dear students, I have done a video on question paper pattern. Also, please go through it. It is uploaded in channel, and I am going to post that in this comment section. Let's jump into the unit four. It's all about the solid versus liquid versus gaseous fuels, their differences and their advantages and disadvantages. Dear students, when a question related to the comparison is given, you are supposed to work out this tabular column form, and you need to work out the solids and the liquids and the gaseous in a Point wise, and do not write your answers in a paragraph. For a good impression and scoring a better mark, use good quality pens and write in paragraph. Write in only bulleted points or the point wise octane versus ct number, their differences, and how gasoline is obtained from the bed. Catalytic cracking is said to be a topmost question. Synthesize the petrol by Fischer Trophy's process is also said to be one of the topmost question which is going to occur in the third question A B biodiesel advantages and knocking is said to be a short question and calorific value of a fuel is also said to be one of the short question dear students there is no separate video for the short questions if you are perfect with all these concepts in form of long and short the questions will be coming in the question paper and this may be 3 A B or the next or combination from the second unit may be proximate analysis of coal and its significance is said to be a topmost and gone short question fuels classify and characteristics of a good fuel i mean classify them and the characteristics compare petrol and diesel with respect to octane and ct number and the blending and doping agent may be also topmost question which may come for five mark lpg versus cng differences hcv versus lcv and u longs formulae may be also short question and synthetic petrol may be also a short question dear question the short question is for one mark and the long question is direct i mean the 10 mark question but do not expect direct 10 mark it is a split of 5 or 5 later we jump into the unit 3 it's all about the polymerization types and the addition and condensation and the structure with monomers related to addition and condensation is said to be a topmost and the five mark question this time that may be the fourth question in the question paper 
PVC, the properties, users and the preparations and volcanization of rubber is also said to be one of the top most question. Vuna is rubber and vital rubber and synthetic methods is said to be also one of the top most question which may occur in 4B for a 5 mark this time. Mechanism of conduction in transpolyacetylene and the applications is also said to be one of the gunshot question. Dear students, hope you are going to like my videos and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it immediately and press the bell icon so that you are going to receive a latest notification on the videos which I am going to upload in my channel. Polymers and classify them along with the example maybe the short question, plastic and its type and example is also short question. Elastomers and the properties, preparation and application may be a long question. For a b here and c d may be here trans polyacetylene conduction mechanism and thicol rubber and frp may be a short question nylon 6.6 .6 may be also short question conducting polymers and their classification along with the example and pvc and backlight applications and biodegradable polymers from this part you are going to get it is for a b or for c d here you are supposed to attempt either for a B combination if you are going to work out for 5 and 5 mark you are supposed to work out the complete pro question related to AB and it is a or option for you in this paper that may be CD or let's that be also AB if you are good at these two questions you are supposed to attempt only these two and you are not supposed to work out C from here and you are not supposed to work out B from here you will be getting only one question evaluated not the both the students later jump into this unit one it is very easy and it's all about the portable water specifications and the steps involved may be the topmost question this time which may occur in the question paper phosphate conditioning versus call bond conditioning and disinfection of portable water by chlorinization and the breakpoint chlorinization may be a topmost question boiler troubles may be the short question and the sludges and their advantages and desalination of water and the reverse osmosis is an estimation of hardness of water and complex metric method and the problems on ion exchange process may be also one of the important question the problems related to hardness of water to find the ppm is also said to be one of the topmost and gunshot question fi on by ion selective electrode method is said to be a topmost question internal versus external treatment methods is also one of the very important question dear students and this is said to be 2ab or 3ab dear student i am sorry the unit 5 question is 6 here and this is question number 5 and this is 4 and this is 2. Let's jump into the unit 2. It is all about the batteries and the classification and the applications is said to be a topmost question. Lithium ion exchange and the construction working principle along with the applications you are supposed to work out all the drawings only in pencil and label them neatly very neatly and you are supposed to work out very neat sketches to score out of outmark. I have uploaded a video on this channel and how to work out a theory paper as as well as a mathematical paper under j to h to score good marks which i am going to share below in this channel i mean the comment section fuel cells versus battery difference solar cell and the applications and methanol oxygen fuel cell construction working principle i am going to let you all know which unit you are supposed to work out to score a better mark solid oxide fuel cells and the corrosion causes effects factors and the units and the types may be one of the topmost and gunshot question which which may occur in the question paper in form of third question a b or c d chemical versus electrochemical corrosion and the corrosion control methods and the sacrificial anode and impressed current methods and cathodic prediction may be the short question dear students i haven't highlighted any short questions here if you're perfect with all these questions where i have made a star mark and put on the paper you are supposed to work out in form of long as well as short there is no separate preparation for the short questions if you're thorough with all the concepts which i have highlighted in the paper you are going to work out the short questions as well as the long questions i am going to let you know now which units you are supposed to work out if you are an average student dear students please kindly go with unit one as well as unit two and unit five if you are an average student to score a good marks and you are supposed to be thorough with all the concepts which i have highlighted if you want to score a good mark you can go even with the third unit also dear students a topper may work out all the units and if you are going to fail in working any of the concepts from unit one that may occur in the paper and you won't be attending that question so make 
sure to work out all the concepts 100% if you're preparing for any course, if you're looking for any other videos in form of important questions and the concepts. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well as share this content with your friends. Hope you'll perform well in the exam and text me once you are you're done with the exam. Good luck and God bless you all dear students. This is your Chindu Gaur signing off today for this video. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.